changing. Amen. This is another day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I try and sad and hurt my bones, but the joy of the Lord is my strength. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious Father, we come approaching your throne of grace through your Son, Jesus. Because we know no other way to come. First of all, we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy. Thank you for your goodness and your stretched out hand to deliver and let the captives go free. We thank you for your compassion, Lord. Your grace and your mercy, Lord. Lord, we give you all the honor. We give you all the glory in what you're doing in our life. In Jesus' name, oh Lord. God, we pray for the amen and backslide that sinner man, that woman, that child, that walk the street, Lord. No place to go. Give them a mind that want to be saved, Lord. And a mind that want to stay saved. And a place to live. Lord, we pray for those got coronavirus, Omicron, monkeypox. All these diseases coming on this world, Lord. Lord, have mercy on our souls, O oh God. Heaven return back to you, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. And God will thank you for it. My God, my God. We pray for the President of the the Democrats, Republican, Lord. Lika, Let it be peace in the White House, Lord. Let it be peace in our house, Lord. Those are not saved in that White House and be saved. Those are not saved in our house, Lord. Lord, you save them to the mouth of bone and the hidden parts of the Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. And may we thank for the ones that's here, Lord, the ones that's on their way, Lord. For whatever reason the ones can't make it, God, we pray that you be with them. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen and amen and amen. We're going to go to part three, doing a series on God, the Father, the Holy Spirit. We found out they were the same person. We laid the foundation on the, on the first part. Amen. That's God. And then we dealt with the Son. Amen. He said the Father was greater than Him. So Jesus Christ came down here on this earth, taught us, amen, who He is. He taught us who the Father is and who the Holy Spirit is. So I thank God, amen, for his word today. Amen. Bless God. What we want to use as a subject when Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, when they carry the change. Because our character changes. Mm -hmm. uh, your character don't stay the same. So we change. So we want to find out what caused that character to change. So that way we make sure we do what is right. Amen. So that way we can stay, amen, under his love, under his grace, his mercy, and not his right and his judgment. Lord, have mercy. And not his rebuke and his chastisement. Amen. Because he chastises those that he loves. He's going to whip those that don't want to do right. And then those that do right, they don't kiss with him. And I said, Lord, help me to do right. So I put him on the prize list. Man, I put that plumb line on him, see if he's crooked or not. And he leaned a little bit, I straighten him up with the word. Amen. That's what I do with him. All right, let's go to page 1167, Matthew, 23rd chapter, the 13th verse. And we're going to see how Jesus Christ is starting off, amen, with the Pharisees and the scribes. The scribes were people. Praise Lord, thank God for my mother being in the house. I ain't seen them in a while in the house. I done seen them before the house, but I ain't never seen them in the house in a bit of a while. Thank God. I believe in miracles. That is a miracle. Don't be so hard on me. Huh? Don't be so hard on me. Oh, don't be so hard? I'm trying to hit you. <laughs> That's why I'm hard on you. God hard on us because he loved us. He wanted to do right, dog. So we're going to see God can do better. And do what? Yeah. Better, better, better. I like better. Uh, so we're on page 1167, Donald, on our 23rd chapter, the 13th verse. And uh, bless God, uh, when Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, character changes. We're going to see in Scripture, here Jesus Christ getting ready, 
Amen. To correct the Pharisees and scribes. Scribes were the teachers of the law. Oh, they were, that's what the scribes were. And they taught the law. How'd y'all like to teach it? Let me come over here and teach y'all. I can say something real quick. Yeah. Brother Dunn, Brother Young was hard on me last Monday when I missed church because I was tired. And now I'm coming to church on time. <laughs> it helped me to do better. It didn't feel good, but I had to take so, that. So it worked out pretty good for some kids. Yeah, so. She I coming all the time. He called me on the phone. He was like, I don't want to hear no excuse. When they come to your job, you're going to be there. And you're going to be, you don't care if you're tired, you're going to work. So yeah. I was like. You're going to work, child. I'm telling so you, you can't go to the house and walk tired and get refreshed. He should just call Now I'm here. I'm here. And I'm, I'm happy about it. And I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah. And I'm happy about it. Yeah, dog. You're not the only one. You feel good. You're not the only one I love. But I said, thank you, Jesus. That was something for me for like three days, but I was okay. <laughs> love, love will correct you now. Yeah, so I just had to love, love, If love don't get nothing about you, then you keep going in the wrong direction. So I think I love, love is good. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of that. You're going to do something good. Thank God for that testimony. Amen. Yeah, she might have got a feeling hurt, but that's yeah. all right. She got over it. Yes, and came home time. in the house of the Lord. All the time. So all the time, all the time. <laughs> so correction is good. It depends yes. on how you take it. Yes. On how you take it. Uh, and if it's, and it's, and if it's a, a correction to help you get better, that's good. Yes. If it's a correction to help you get bad, that's, that's, bad. that's what? Bad. bad. That's bad. So we're the ones that stay the same yes. person. <laughs> So that's what correction is for, yes, to Lord. improve, improvement. Yes, Lord. You used to be a supervisor, didn't you improve some of them guys on that job? I'm sure you did. Yeah, I'm sure you told them something when they wasn't doing right. Amen. God does the same thing with us. Amen. Uh, so we're on page 1167, 23rd chapter, 13 verse. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, what do you call them? Why do you think he called them a hypocrite? Because they were trying to, to, to hold they people to a standard thing, they wouldn't keep. It. Yeah, they wouldn't keep it. Holding people to a standard they wouldn't keep it. Yeah. And then they didn't want to obey God's commandments. Yeah. They were coming up with their own teaching, yeah. uh, teaching stuff that God didn't say, trying to make his commandment not of effect. So I can teach something that does not make God's commandment, not, but it sound good. Yeah. It sound good ain't going to get it with God. It's got to be what he wants. His standards. His commandments. His what? His standards. God's standards of living. That's not our standard. That's God's standard. So if we follow the standards of God, are we going to be bad or good? We're going to be good. We're going to come out good. Yeah. We have some good fruit. Yeah. We're going to produce good fruit. Yeah. And back then, when the Pharisees and such used to teach, the people didn't have their own record of what was going on, so they came to listen to them, so... That's and they had no Bible. So they were being misled. You know, You're right, but they had a scroll. Right. And that's what they teach And they didn't even let the people touch it. Do, you do, you, do, you do we have a preacher just by itself got have a scroll? No. What y'all got in the pew? Bible, right? Y'all got the Bible. The word so that way the preacher ain't right? That's right. Y'all got the word. See, back then, that's what I'm trying to say. Back then... They didn't know if they were right or wrong. Oh, they, they went along with what they had to say. That's just like the Catholic. The Catholic it made church. it sound good, tip of the ear. You know? yeah. The Catholic church was first in Latin. Them, huh? Yeah, they, they spoke in Latin. They, nobody understood what they were saying. Yeah. Until, until they straightened them up. Now they don't speak in Latin no more. That's right. <laughs> but they still <laughs> lead them up. But they still feel like them pamphlets and give it to you monthly where you still got to follow them. Yeah. yeah. But it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I saw him uh, talking about uh, Deuteronomy. He said in the book of Deuteronomy, he said you need to go to the 20th chapter and stop having all the images you got back there in the background. I'm a fruit inspector. Yeah. What kind of inspector? You tell me you're in Deuteronomy, and that's where the Ten Commandments is at in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. So I said to myself, what well, are you doing that? You need to get there. Yeah, and read that one about the Ten Commandments that God wants and what he do not want. Amen. Give them all the hands up. This is good. It's good. Put it in, put So here we see, amen, that we got a scroll, but y'all got one too. That's right. For ye devour widows' houses 
And for preachers make long proud, therefore you receive the greater damnation. What damnation mean? Hell. Uh, you you look at that in uh, 23 and 13. It's condemnation. You're going to be condemned. That's condemnation. The, 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 the because they know better, but they ain't teaching better. That is the greatest part. They're not, they're not teaching it right. So we got a lot of teaching. The Bible says that many false teachers and false prophets have went out into the world. It didn't say it was a few of them, but it said there's many of them. All right, so in order for me to know what a false prophet, false teacher, I've got to know the word. If I know that word, you can't deceive. Right. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Or if you got your own Bible, you can go look at it. That's right. I can go back and study and see if it's correct. That's right. And that's why we want, that's why I have the Bibles here. Go back and see if I'm correct. Amen. And if I'm wrong, show me in the Word, and I'll get it right. Amen. I'm ready to get it right. Amen. I'm not going to continue in something wrong, and then have to bust hell wide open, uh -huh. and achieve the greatest common, combination, uh, being condemned. Uh, bless God. Uh, 15 breath. That's good. Give a lot of other hands out of man. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. It's look like his character didn't change. Totally. Uh, it's right. So, what caused his character to change here? Sin. Sin. Not, not the word. Right. Not, not. So, we want to understand how his character would change. One minute he could be loving. Next man is he can be hated. All right. Now, I want you to have well, this part of the stuff I'm going to do. I it. God can be showing some love to one person and hating somebody else at the same time. What do we know? Y'all believe that can happen? Yeah. No, it, it happens, it happens every time. time. Could it really be this? It happens all the time. God can be showing mercy to one person and not showing mercy to another That's at the God. same time. That's God. <laughs> but it won't be hatred. It won't be God. God can't hate, though, can he? Uh, he can't hate, though. Can you say God can love somebody at one time and hate somebody at the time? Somebody else. God can somebody else at another time. At the same time. But God can, so you say God can hate somebody? He, yeah. yeah. His, his character. Word, his word says it. His, his, his word says he hate evil. Yeah, okay. it, it's worse than hate that. So and he can hate the evil that's inside of not yeah. the person. Right. He be hating the, e the evil he, that's inside. He, he, he be hating that person too. Oh, okay. Now person he loved them to, to get them out if they want. Want to right. come out. Right, right. If they repent. If they repent. If they hear his word. Because he, he loved those that, you know. Loved him. And he hate those. Okay. Yeah. See, you got to understand that. You got to understand that God, God is all he. Your, your mind can't contain this now. Don't try to figure it out. Just believe that God can do all yeah, that. Okay, okay. Because he can. He doing it. Now it makes sense. I don't know what the scripture is, but didn't he say he hated Esau? Huh? He said he hated he hate Esau. He hated Esau and he loved Jacob. Okay. So you're going to tell God, I, well, you should have done that. I was reading Now he hated Esau because Esau did what? Sold his birthright. Sold his birthright. Right. I want you to understand his, his character changed on Esau. Now, did he show any mercy on Esau? Yes. Uh -uh. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no. no he didn't. He didn't show he no actually, mercy. He said he actually yeah, didn't. he showed no mercy. And the Bible said he sought it with tears. But he couldn't get his bird ride back. Oh, no, he, he sold it. Back. He lost it. Because he sold it. Because he sold it. So, we want to study God to the place where we get a fear of him. Right. And stop playing around with God. Amen. You don't know what God's going to do. Yeah. Just because about to give you a couple of their scriptures, that don't mean that his character won't change. Yeah. Out of the subject. Of Maybe that's what it is. They don't think God will really turn away from them and hate them because of what they're doing. Right. They don't think that, that can happen. Yeah, they don't know. Did he show any mercy to the soul? All right, so there's two people in the Bible. You can go study. Yeah, he took up. And he didn't show mercy to. I was reading that today, Pastor, where it said that when God anointed David, he 
he took his anointing away from Saul anyway, to where Saul was able, the uh, evil spirit came upon Saul. He took, he took it, God, God took his spirit at all. And I would read this day. And put it on gave an evil spirit. To Saul. And gave a good David spirit his spirit at the same time. you right. I read it today. I read that today. I would read it. Oh, yeah, understand. So God can do some the stuff at the same time. His character can change, and, and he can show some over here and some over there at the same and time, that, and, that and right, he can do that anytime he gets ready. And that right there can show you that his character changed because he loved David and he loved Saul. But when Saul did what he did and really to, 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 to uh, Samuel wrote, God took his spirit from David and gave his and spirit. What he, and what he told the Samuel? Yeah. When Samuel prayed all night, what he told Samuel? <laughs> Samuel, I, know, I want you to pray for him. <laughs> I, I rejected him. Why are you praying for him? What you praying for him? I don't reject him, Samuel. I don't care. You pray all you want. That's right. Same thing. But I rejected him. So some people think they can change God's mind. No, you can't. Sometimes you can. Well, see that. And sometimes. You can't. So I wouldn't play with that. Yeah, I don't want to put myself in a position. Yeah, I don't. Until they can't do it. Yeah. Marvin's way. I can't say, Lord, forgive me for it, then go back and do it again. I have to do it like God said, repent and turn away from it. What did he do with that baby uh, when, when David took that man wife and, and they had a baby? What did he do with that baby? He took that baby. He killed that baby. And you know what David did? He went on a fast. That's right. He prayed. He fasted and then when the baby died, he went to eat. That's right. And then he said, wait a minute, David. When a child was sick, you fasted and you prayed. Right. And now, since the child died, yeah, you he said, now you eat. Right. They couldn't figure David out. Right. But you know what David told me? I can't bring him back. That's right. I'm going and eat. Yeah. Went on with his life. <laughs> I just went go and eat because I can't bring him back. Because right. God rejected his prayer and his fast. Yeah, and then God gave him. This stuff is real stuff I'm giving you all today now. Amen. Yeah, get this on CNN. Amen. Fox don't know nothing about this. 6 and 12, what I'm giving you all today, yeah. that's a lot of meat in that, but I don't chew. Yeah, I'm ready to swallow it now. Thank you, Pastor. That father shut him I read it. But it's in the word. I read how the character changed and how the demon realized. Give the Lord another hand clap for you. Amen. Bless God. So, amen. That's why the Bible says his ways is past finding out. His judgment is unsearchable. You can't search it out, but you can have enough knowledge not to go against him right. so you wouldn't have to judge us. Amen. We should have enough knowledge not to go against him so we won't have to repent. Thank you, Lord. Because we do all what is right. Amen. That's what we want to get to the place in our life. It's righteousness and holiness. That's what he looks at. Uh, he, he don't correct nobody that's living holy. Other those that are doing wrong. At the same time. All right, let's go. Give the Lord and get another hand clap here. That's good, y'all. Just in your brother. But why are you scribe and Pharisees, hypocrite? For you come past sea and land to make it one proselyte. All right, so when I look at the word come past, it means to what? Encompass. Uh, to travel. Y'all see that come on that 23rd and uh, 15? And it means to travel. A compass. So they was traveling, and look what that scripture says about proselytes. So what I did, I went to another translation to find out what that translation said. Proselytes, was trying to make him, they have, if they go travel, and want them to believe what they were teaching. To have faith in that. Faith in my what? Hearing. And hearing my what? The word you hear somebody fall, teach you false enough, you believe it. That's mm -hmm. you know? If you don't know nothing better. Uh -huh. Because that's how faith comes. Faith so you think that you having faith in what they saying is right, and you having faith in error. Right. That ain't, that's not right. Okay. So then you, that's when you find out God's character is going to change you he was loving you one minute. <laughs> he was loving you one minute. I ain't loving you right now. With the whole tree the next. Oh, the blood.
that was in your heart. Oh, it's on today. Uh, see a man and make one person, so you make one person, amen, to have faith, amen, you like that guy. Uh, so you got that going on today. You got a lot of folk preaching, teaching out there, trying to get people to believe what they say. And when he had made, he, you made him two, four more children of hell. Golly, then you're sick. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about hell? Yeah. Hell. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell is hot. Yeah. It's a long time. So he said, you made him two, four hell because they're going to hell just like you. Yes, they are. You know what Paul said about that? He said, here's what Paul said in his life. He said, as I preach to others, and myself be a castaway. Right. Now, it's possible for you to preach, and you just are lost. How right. I many preachers out there preaching today, people getting saved, but they're not saved? Right. And a lot of them. Is that, what, is that what you mean by, like, like say you teach it, but still in all, God said you should study to show yourself a proof, and that's what they're not doing, so that's why they're they taking the, the path of the preacher's word for what he's saying yeah. and not going over. Well, you see, they, they're finding this love and this mercy and they think they can just do anything. Right, right, right. Because right. they, got, they got the scripture. But that's why you should study. Yeah. And they're not living it. They're preaching and teaching it, but they're living in sin. Amen. Right. They're so what's going to happen? What did I choose 7 and 21, sir? That, Lord, I prophesied in your name. I did wonderful miracles in your name. He's going to say, the parts of me, working of iniquity, I never knew. Now, that's bad when you're doing that in his name, yeah. in the name of Jesus. And you don't know it. And you don't know it. Mm -hmm. I'd like a lady, when I was on the street ministering uh, and, and preaching, and I said, would you like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? She was drunk, couldn't hardly stand up and I should say, I got Jesus. I said, is it the same one I got? So she thought she had Jesus drunk as I don't know what. No. Well, how you going to have Jesus like that? Hey, no, no. I said, it's the same Jesus. Then I got to talk to her about Jesus. Or she took all the pins. She hooked them up. She found out that's not the same Jesus. And I said, the Jesus I got, got, got I, was, I used to be an alcoholic. He delivered me. Is that the same one you got? Yeah. Well, unless she was delivered. I'm a fruit inspector. Uh, a lot of folks say a lot of their mouth, but their life ain't backing it up. So, uh, I'm blessed to say that, Lord. The end of 15. Shout out to yourself. More children of hell than yourself. All right, let's go to the 16th verse. 16th verse. War to you blind guys. What do you call them? Now, they could see physically, but he knew they were blind spiritually by their life, by the things that they were doing. See, a lot of people want to teach the way Jesus Christ did some things. Yeah, they wanted to find love scripture and blessing scripture. Right. I put, don't give me all the love scripture because I'm going against them. Because right. I don't know when this character is going to change on me. Give me something while I had a straight me up and help me to stop doing what I'm doing or seeking some help to stop it since I can't do it by myself. What do you blind guys would say, uh, whosoever shall swear by the temple, this is what they would teach him, it is nothing. Or he could even get it done. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, He's a debtor. Why is that Jesus Christ straighten that stuff out? He, what did he call it? Ye flew fools and blind. Yeah. Lord, have to call him a fool. Yeah. Uh, blind. He, boy, his character looks like he's changing. For what is greater, the goal or the temple? He said, which one is greater? Now, is Jesus Christ sinning here? Be corrected so they can change. Right. Correction is good. Now, if you don't want to change, it ain't good for you. Because you want to keep going in the direction you're going. So you, the Bible says a wise person, there you go. a thinking. Then you can say, well, I thank you for that. That's what Sister Kim did earlier. She was thanking me for correcting. 
Right. So that's a chihuahua. All right. So a wise person, thank you for that correction, but a fool going to what? Not rebuke. Another scripture says he hates you. Yeah, you ain't going to want to. He don't like you. That's a, that's a fool. I don't want to be no more fool, Lord. I don't want to be no way. Tell me I don't want to be no more fool. Correct me, Lord. For the temple that sanctified the go. we get 18 bride. Who shall ever swear by the altar, it is nothing. That's what they was teaching. But who shall ever swear by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye what? So they wouldn't teach him right. You call them fools and right. So if you got somebody teaching you some stuff like that, you, you're going to be blind just like them. And you're going to be a what? A fool. That was Jesus Christ called me. I'm just giving you the word. I'm, I'm just a messenger. Uh, I'm a mail carrier. Wow. Whosoever shall swear by the altar, swear by it, and all the things there are on. And say, well, if you swear, you're going to swear by everything on that altar. And who shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that swear by heaven, swear by the throne of God. So should we swear today? No, no that's another scripture to touch. That was not to do that. Let your yea be yea, and, and your nay nay. Anything more than that becoming of what? Evil. evil. Well, the reason why it becomes of evil is because it goes against God's word. Goes against the word of God. So I can't swear. Uh, do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth? <laughs> so help you God? What do they do to that at the courthouse? Yeah. Yeah. They want you to swear. They know that. I'm sure some of them probably know it's wrong. They want you to do wrong. Uh, help them what? Uh, just say yes or no. They tell you what to say to them. Uh, by heaven swear by the throne of God. And by him that set it down, warn you, scribe, Pharisee, hypocrite, for you pay tithes and mint and anise and cinnamon. Uh, that, that's, that's different fruits that you're talking about now. And have, uh, and have omitted the weight of matter of the law. What are you dealing with? He's dealing with the law. They were paying they were paying the tithes. But watch me, watch me as he go tell me. Because there's some other things they wouldn't do. Without that match that. Uh, judgment, mercy, and faith. You leaving them out. Yeah. What, what the, Lord, the Lord looking for? Perfection. Huh? Perfection. Perfection. That's it, brother. He looks for perfection. Why he looking? Why is God looking for perfection? God Because he's perfect. Because he's perfect. They go to fall here. Uh, God perfect, the devil what? Yeah. Who are we serving? We're serving somebody. And if we're serving the imperfect one, we're going to be imperfect. Yeah. If we serve the perfect one, it said, be you therefore perfect. That was Jesus Christ said, like 5 and 48. So evidently we can be that way. Don't let nobody fool. If Jesus Christ said you can be that way, believe Jesus. Don't believe man. Go with Jesus. As your heavenly Father is perfect. So we can be that way through him, through Jesus. Luke, Luke the 16th chapter says that, that no man can serve two masters. No man can serve God and money. Uh, uh, what is man? Money. That's right. That's money. That's because the love of it is, and that's what most of the people The do. love of money is the root of all evil. Right. So all right? So having money, is that the root of all evil? No. 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 Nah, it's the love of it. Right. All right? So... If I love money more than I love God, right. I'm going to do wrong with the money. That's right. I want you to catch that. Why he said that. I'm going to do wrong with the money because I love it more. I don't want to keep his commandments of what the commandments say about the money. Here said. they were paying their tithes, uh -huh. but they were leaving other things out That's right. that the Lord won't done. Mm -hmm. right, so we got to do it all. That's right. we got to do some of it. All of it. All of it. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Amen. Right. Now watch what he say here. Amen. That's burn. Uh, the matter of the law, the judgment, mercy, and faith, these are to have done and not to leave what? The, don't do, don't, don't stop paying your tithes. <laughs> I know y'all doing that part, but I want y'all to do some more because you ain't doing this part. Yeah. Wow. 
So God is looking for perfection. Uh -huh. All right, so now since he's looking for perfection, I'm looking for a God that's going to help me to be that way. Because yeah. Herman can't help me. He can't be perfect by himself. So he's going to need some power yeah. greater than his own self to be perfect. He's going to need a Savior. Yeah. Lord, have mercy that I'm rather than been tested and tried. Amen. And pass every test that came his way. His name is Jesus. Brother Yeah. So I got to tell it. When we was on Magnolia Street and I was just heading to Christ, faithful paying my tithes, faithful paying my tithes, and you was in the middle of preaching and you was like, uh, God don't care nothing about your tithes if you ain't living right. And that stuff hit me so hard like, he don't care about my tithes. I'm going to start living right because I don't pay for tithes here. That's your what? What that was that? Oh, uh, Magnolia. And I'm like, now we all lose. my tithes. And that stuff hit me hard when I wanted to do right. So has God changed from the camp? Ooh, Since we left from Magnolia, you come to Lucas. Ooh, he ain't changed. <laughs> so he ain't changed. That was powerful. I never heard nothing like that before. It shocked me. Our minds are really. It shocked you? Yeah. That's what the word's supposed to do to us. It's supposed to shock the stuff that's not right in us. And we're doing some things right, but we're not doing this right. And God wanted to do everything right. That's the way he is. That's his character. His character is that he wants everything done right. All right, now there's a scripture says in Psalms 84 and 11 that he wouldn't hold any good thing from those that walk upright. Okay? And they'll eat the fruit of the land. Right. Uh, so if God not going to withhold anything from me, when I, what does upright mean? Follow his commandments. Follow it, that's right. That's right, Brother Joe. That's upright, that's doing righteousness. I want y'all to catch that upright. Righteousness is in that. So I'm following his commandments, that's right. That's right for me to do. All right, so now since I'm following his commandments, Amen. Obeying his laws and statutes. Right. I'm upright. Now he even promised me I'm going to eat the fruit of the land. Who's going to feed me? Yeah. I'm going to get fed when everybody else ain't got nothing to eat. Amen. I hope y'all caught that one. I mean, ain't nobody else can go to the store to buy nothing because there ain't nothing at the store. God going to feed me. If you got to feed me mountain. Who ate the manna? Where did that manna come from? Oh, and who ate that manna in heaven? Angel. That was the angel's food. I just need to go eat that. That, that manna was, was the angel's food. So God took the angel's food and fed his children. Oh, uh, y'all think I'm going somewhere? I ain't going to He's too awesome of a God. That's true. That's in the word. Amen. Yeah. Lord, I bless you, God. They complain about the man. The Lord, I don't want to be like them. Yeah, help me, help me, Lord. Help me, help me, Jesus. Okay, so, uh, where we at now? Oh, we're going to 24. Ye blind guys were straining a net and swallow what? Him. God, yeah, net, that's in a small thing. You strain to the net and swallow it. Okay, you know, cat were pretty big. Yeah, yeah. Boy, he owned them. He owned them. He owned them. Oh, my God. He, his character can change him. It's time for them to what? Repent. And, um, see, when, God, when the law begins to correct us, it's time for us to get it right. That's the purpose of that. What do you scribes? And Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess as dead men born. Now, you say, I, you look good on my side. Yeah, I got my tie on, my shirt on. Uh, yeah, I got my coat, you know, my suit. I might look good on my side. But on the inside. But the inside, I might be full of dead men born. Destroy. My God, I said, Lord, that's awesome. I don't, I don't be full of that stuff no more. I used to be. But but Jesus came in and let me go free. 
And whom the Son set free, free indeed. Now you stay free, you stay with Jesus. What are you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites? For you are you all like one unto unto white sculptures, which indeed appear beautiful. Yeah, you look good with that long robe you got on. I would but are within full of dead men bones and of all uncleanness. What are you trying to help him to do? Change to repent. Because he's calling them out. Right. The way they are. See, that's what the word would do. I know when I first got saved, uh, uh, a guy was reading a book called The Bread of Life. And it, it was talking about me. And what about him? He was talking about me. I said, I'm going to the Bible. I want you to the Bible. said, I'm 29 years old. Never read the Bible in my life. At 29. I said, let me go to the Bible. I'm going to see what the Bible said about it. I got to read that Bible. I said, oh, I need some help. I thought it was a pretty good fellow, but uh, mm -hmm. in my own eyes. Yeah, yeah. But in the Word found me and let me know who I was. I said, oh, Lord, I need, I need some help here. Oh, my God. Good that bread. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous. Yeah, you look like you're right. Unto uh, who? Men. Yeah, hey, you fooling them. Yeah. Can, can, but can you fool God? No. <laughs> you might get fooled some people in the church, but you ain't fooling God. He knows you. Help me, Lord, to do right. Yeah, and not appear like I'm one. Appear right in the man, but within are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Full of sin. Mm -hmm. Hypocrite. What do you say? Uh, yeah. You right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and again. Uh, what do you scribe in Fed 27? It for you are likened to white sculptures. Yeah, you look good on that side. Mm -hmm. Which indeed appear beautiful hours. Yeah, you got a nice robe on. Mm -hmm. But I would end full of dead men bones and of all uncleanness. So what is uncleanness? Sin. Sin. Sin is unclean. Woo. So if I break God's law, it made me unclean. That's right. If I break God's law, it caused me to sin. We're going to make what we all can understand. Yeah. All right, so now, since I've done that, I have to repent of that. I can't keep going in that direction. Because his character may change on me. Yeah. And all y'all prayers didn't help me. Can I tell you something about that word? Pray and fast. Yeah, this kind. That's good, but this kind of mind by what? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got some strong spirits to get in with. That's why every Christian ought to have a pride and fast. Amen. Don't wait for the devil to jump you. Just have you one, and you can jump them anytime. They try to jump you by the name of Jesus. Put some on there. But now you've been praying and fasting. Amen. Lord, I bet now the Lord will give you a prayer quicker. Because you, you, you got some power now. Yeah. <laughs> prayer. A little, little, little prayer. A little power. little power. Much prayer. Yeah, much power. Uh, even Cornelius, he was praying to God. And the Bible said his prayer reached up to heaven. Yeah, to send Peter down there to check on Cornelius. Amen. Get, him, get some Holy Ghost in he, he was a giver. He gave to, to uh, Israel. And God saw his, his arm, the scripture says, and his prayers reached up to him. You power your prayers when you pray. It's, it's like an incense before God. It comes before his altar. And then you look at all, oh, that's a devil. Oh, that's a John Daddy prayer. Oh, that's a Father. Oh, that's a Kid of Wild prayer. Oh, that's Donna Young praying. In the sleep. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are here, though. We be here. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are That word that put him to sleep. That's a good word, is it, Lord? Yeah, it made you desire. Sometimes he didn't do that. He put you to 
you're sleeping, don't even hear the word. Sometimes you can hear anything, don't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. You still heard something. Because, and, right, and, and sometimes God can do that too because the devil got you running so much. He comes to the house of the Lord. And find peace. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, you know I, I mean, it can be looked at, you know. You can find rest in the Lord. Yeah. You, the only place you, when, when you can rest like that is you're at peace. Yeah. You, you're not yeah. you're not full of turmoil all no. it's, you no. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, when, when I would go to uh, Pastor McClellan and he'd be teaching uh, it's a, a spirit of slumber jump yeah. but I, I had to learn how to fight them right. all yeah. mm -hmm. you gotta fight this spirit all yeah, yeah. and this spirit because you're talking about good rest yeah. you get some good rest in the house of God yeah. every time Zach come here <laughs> every time Zach come here and I told him, I say, brother, you got to do better, man. Yeah, Every time he comes, <laughs> he, 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 he's trying to break it. Yeah, it's real stuff. Yeah, it is. Man, it's <laughs> Sleep was slumber. Have I told him to pray you want? For another. So I know because sometimes we get through the time. Yeah, that's right. We're dealing with life. That's like the last time when we had that shut-in. And Sister Kim came. What we up talking about? We only got about 45 minutes. I was up. Wake up. <laughs> Uh, and we're supposed to be in the pride. <laughs> but, but, but Jesus Christ did with his disciples. He revealed what he can. What they were doing? They were asleep. They were sleeping. And he told me, You mean to tell me. You couldn't stay warm. Y'all can't watch one hour. <laughs> Pray that you won't enter into temptation. temptation. Who was telling them to go to sleep? The devil. The devil tell me to go to sleep and tell me to die. And that's why you have to have knowledge of that. Oh, yeah. and, and, and that spirit would jump in. I'm talking about, I'm just so tired. Because yeah. I've been working 12 hours. Yeah. That spirit would jump in. I had to learn how to fight them all. Oh, yeah. I had to fight them all. And when I would learn how to fight them spirits off of me, I end up with revelation. When, when, when Pastor McClellan would be teaching, God would give me revelations of, his, of what he's teaching. teaching. That's how it's powerful stuff. So, uh, you know, that work to fight. Yeah. I had to fight my way to get it, and when I when the Lord see me fighting like that, He gave me some extra stuff I wouldn't have got if you'd have been asleep. Do that teach. So I, I have to agree, Pastor, because every time I I lay down and listen to the word or watch it on I, it, it uh, the spirit of slumber comes. Yeah, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It, I have to I have to agree because that's when it hits me when I, the, I should. And that's it. Now, why do you think people sleep so good on Sunday? Because they should be in church. <laughs> I slept good this time. Uh, I had took some medicine Saturday night, four days Sunday morning. So yesterday I was kind of sluggish and, and didn't want to. Any time I was, you just go on and stay home. Like, nah, not going to happen. I'm not. So I came to church a little sluggish. Then after church, went home and, and rested. Took another nap. Wow. Hey, you got to press and get blessed. Yeah. It, it, it's a pressing situation. I won't, I, won't won't take that, I won't take that medicine. I mean, I know for me, I, if I take it too late, it's going to affect me the next day. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now you're learning how to. Yeah, just leave it alone. Time you need to yeah, take it early. earlier. Yeah. Much earlier. Right. Yeah. And, that, and, that, and that's, that's part of life. It's just yeah. finding out how to do it mm -hmm. without getting yourself in that That's called wisdom. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what, that's what the word gives. Yeah. It gives wisdom on how to deal with our problems. With our situation, when the enemy attacked us and, and the sun will come on us, oh, we ain't trying to fight it all. Did the disciples try to fight it all? No. no I'm sure they wouldn't have seen it. They beat it twice. <laughs> they couldn't have fought it all, but they beat it twice, right? Did they fall asleep? No, they did. Yeah. yeah. The disciples, did they fall asleep twice? Did they what? Twice. I was asleep twice. twice. When Jesus died. Now, three times. Three times. You went there three times. Okay, well, that's uh, now, the third time, the third time. That's when they came. He said, sleep on. Yeah. When he told it was time. Sleep on. Because yeah. they'd come and get it. Yeah. Right. So he had to go in the pride for himself. Right. Oh, if your brother and sister sleep in y'all call him and then he answer the phone. <laughs> no, no. Oh, go to Jesus for yourself. <laughs> they ain't that sleeping. Woo! Hey, man. Uh, that's what he kept calling me sometimes. Oh, they ain't that hugging that shield. Yeah. Oh, the other time, y'all pushed that side, but it was straight legs. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all go to Jesus. Go get you some Jesus. Yeah, you can't wait to mess this on that brother up. Yeah. Oh, but it'd be good, okay. though. Okay. What you got some? I would go. Yeah, she called me. I knew she was calling for pride. He said, side button. 
I said, that prayer of power, Lord, they're about to hit me and wake me up by my sleep. I'm going to right back there. Because <laughs> I know what the power of prayer is going to wake me up. I, I. <laughs> oh, this thing is real. This is real stuff we do. That's power of Jesus. We're, we're not all spirit. No. Amen. We're tagging that devil. Right. The devil's going to take off in Jesus' name. So I already Amen. knew. Amen. So the word of God will teach us up what yeah. to do with those conditions. Because it's going to happen to you. I don't care where you're going. It's going to happen. You go to sleep, pray on the answer machine, on a, on a voicemail, and when they call, I apologize, I'm asleep, but go to praying for them right then and there. That's what we That's what call. Oh, I got to tell them that. That's what we're saying. Uh, you got to way around it. Because so, you, have, you have earthly things that you, you need to get to sleep because you need to go to work because you need to provide for your That's family. right. So yeah. you let wisdom come in. Well, you say, okay, what can I do to make sure my sister get a prayer? So you let her know in between five and six, I'm asleep. But when you call <laughs> my answer machine, I have already prepared the prayer for you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's, it's going to be just as effective if you're, because it's your voice that's giving it. And the devil's still going to flee because you're going to come, you're going to do it in who name? Jesus. All right. <laughs> so, and she will be better to receive it than to call you and don't get no response because now it's going to vex us. Because she used to have that from you, you see what I'm saying? So you find a way to make sure she get it. That's what you call what you say about that food. You know what I'm saying? There's certain foods we eat, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got to eat. See, you like to eat. Like you ate the whole scripture. Amen. You eat the you can't whole stop. So you eat the whole get, chapter. Get that word. You eat the whole chapter right here. You see Amen. What I'm so you're going to be full. So sometimes she just might want to deal fruit. Yeah, but she's got to learn how to deal with all that. Amen. That's and and God's word to teach you. That's good, give you wisdom if you ask. Yeah, we're the one that's where yeah, other people. That's where fellowship can come in. You see what I'm saying? Because if Sister Kim won't get it, tell your daughter to ask because she know how to pray. That little one she that little one will pray for. Her. Amen. Or if she can do some crying. Oh, I already know. Give them all the hands up. Let's give it a
They don't, want, they don't want you to preach Jesus. Yeah, if, you, if, if you claim Jesus, they're killing you. That's what's going on yeah. in, in the Middle East. China, Asia, something like that. It's all over. It's all over. You know what I'm saying? They just they putting children in prison. If they got a family. That's crazy. Well, they so after all the church, this is God's people here. Now they didn't want to hear that, so they killed. That's why. That God's son. That God sent these prophets in there to prophesy to them. Right. And now He telling them what they didn't did. You build a tomb of the prophets uh, and garnish the sculptures of the righteous. <laughs> After uh, let's look at garnish. Let's look at 29. Adorn. adorn. Mm -hmm. uh, you put stuff. Uh, adorn it. You, you put stuff on it. So. What is that? Adorn. A-D-O-R-N. 23 and 29. You adorn. Uh, adorn means to garnish, to, to put something, to make something look good. Make it look good. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to make it look good. Well, they killed the scuffs of, of, of righteous. righteous. Right. 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 They look, look like they're doing right. Yeah. right. Yeah, what, what, did, what did God tell, tell Job? You mean to tell me you're going to try to make yourself right and make me wrong? When he got to do, do with Job, Job said, Lord, I'm put, let, let's go to Job. Hey, man, we're going to tie that in with that. Because right. Job got beside us and looked at that. God had to straighten him up. As a Job 42, uh, it's going to be 40 and 2. 40 and 2. Uh, that's page 690. Page 690. 40 and 2. Uh, shall he that contend with the Almighty and struck him? Who are you talking to? Job. He's talking to Job. So you will instruct me, Job. And he that. Reprove his God? You gonna reprove me, Job? Job, Job got beside himself with that. A lot of people want to bring this out about Job, did they? Yeah. But we we gonna take we gonna get to tell you what Job was doing. Uh, Job, uh, Job was doing here. Amen. Bless God. Uh, and God had to rebuke him. Uh, reprove God. Let him answer me, Job. Won't you answer? You in you on forty two and what? Forty two, forty and uh, two. Okay. The fourth chapter, the second verse. Okay. And then now we're going to the third verse. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Go to the fourth, that's 40, and the fourth verse. Behold, I am vile. Right. So I look at the word vile, it means sinful. Yeah. I feel vile, man. He said, I'm sinful, the Lord. It ain't no good. What shall I answer thee? I lay my hand upon that my mouth. Once have I spoken? But I what? I oh, was wrong, Lord. That's good when you know you're wrong and repent. Here, Job repenting for talking to God like he did. He was trying to make himself right and God wrong. Not going to work. It didn't work. Never going to work. It ain't never work. You try to make God. You got to make God wrong and you're right. I'm talking about you. You better quit that. <laughs> Lord, I'm not saying. Uh, twice, but I will, I will receive that. I ain't going to say it for more, Lord. Uh, no. Then answered the Lord unto Job out of the world. World went and said, Give up the line now like a man, and I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. Would thou also dismantle my judgment? Do I judge her? Yeah. You're going to dismantle my judgment. I think Job kind of. Uh, <laughs> Would thou condemn me? And thou make thyself what? Righteous. You try to make yourself right, Joe. And you condemning me? Well, how many people do that today? The people are doing stuff like that today. I don't think God should have done that. Yeah. Well, what, who, who, who are you? Where you come from? Yeah. Sometimes I'm telling you, you don't know much about God. Yeah. You don't know about how his character can change. Right. You don't know how he handles situations and, and things that he decides is right. Not what you think is right. But it shows sound like he was kind of upset. Yeah, well, he? he was uh, quite a bit upset with Joe. Yeah, he was upset. <laughs> he came in a, in a, in a whirlwind. Seemed like he should have picked him up off the ground. Uh, no, he could have he took Joe and blew him all around. Him. But that goes to show you the power of God. The power of God. So you don't play with God. That's right. Don't do it. Joe recognized that after, after what he had yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. And it's good when you can recognize you're wrong. Right. And get it right with God. What's wrong with the kitchen getting right with that? You come out there. That's a blessing. 
ran him out. He ran him out. People all. Elder Brother Brown went to the church. Brother uh, Brown was preaching. And the preacher said, oh, no, you can't. Don't preach to them like that. They ain't going to come back. Uh, uh. And Brother Brown never would go back. He can't go back to the church. <laughs> He is, a, he is a powerful preacher, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's Melody's daddy he's talking about. She's pretty good. Yeah, right that's Melody's daddy. That's why she do that. That gift was a hit up. Uh, yeah. Go down, bro. Yeah. Come on, but dad. <laughs> yes, boy. I look at him sometimes and I say, oh, because I've been around Brother Brown. Yeah. I say, oh, oh, I look like Brother Brown up there. Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, get a lot of that clap for you. You're awesome. Every 